welcome you guys so today we are going to discuss about a new topic so that is about a root modification so in the last lecture we discussed about various regions in root right along with that we are already discussed about root functions so what are the normal functions of root so it is helps in absorption of water and minerals from the soil and it is helps in synthesis of some plant growth regulators like the cytokines and it is helps in to prevent the soil erosion and it provides some support to the remaining other parts right so that's about the common functions of root so in this lecture we are going to discuss about a modifications root modifications so why the root it is modified so what is the need for modification and what is the definition for modification so what about modification modification is nothing but a permanent change takes place in root to perform special functions not normal functions up to now we discussed it na so it is helps in absorption of water and minerals from the soil and synthesis of plant growth regulators so these are the common functions of root but here the root it is modified so permanent change it is takes place in root to perform special function so that's why the root it is modified to performing a, a special function so what are those types of special functions so here it is helps in, in storage of food material and it is helps in nitrogen fixation and respiration process it will provide some additional support and it is helps in photosynthesis so these are the other functions it is performed by root so when the root it is a modified so it's about a root modification so that is a need for root modification it's want to perform a new function rather than a normal function so here we already discuss about a here we are started about a, a tap root modification so we already know about a tap root system tap root system means here it is having a main root it is present in a, a tap root system but if you will take advantageous root system a fibrous root system so there is no main root right so first we are starting with the a storage roots so here the roots it is helps in storage of a, a food material it is a special function right so first we are starting with the storage roots so what about storage roots so storage roots so these are the roots it is helps in to storage the a food material so whatever the food material it is prepared so that food material it is stored in the roots so due to the storage of a deposition of all the food material in the roots so as they become it become what it become a swollen in size it is increase in its size so when it is increase in its size so later uh, in various places in root it become a swollen so based on which place so based on that three types it is present so one it is a fusi form another one it is nappy form another one it is a, a conical form so what about a, a fusi form so fusi form means the swollen only in middle portion so if you will see at the base if you will see at the tip when compared to those two parts so the swollen it is takes place in a middle portion only so as a result of that so here the formation of spindle shape right so it's about a, a fusi form so what is the example for this one a raphanus sativus a radish in telugu we are called as a mulangi right so next one it is a nappy form so it is also helps in a, to store the a food material so but the, that storage it is takes place at where so highly swollen at the base mainly in this portion up to here it will stores more food material so that's why so the base of the root it is become swollen but the tip it is a, a tapering at the tip right so it is a shape so that shape it is called as nappy form so example for this one it is a beta vulgaris sugar beet right or beet root so next form it is what so that is about a conical form so conical form means uh, so here it will store the food material so it become a, a tapering from the base to the tip so here it is a more swollen when compared to the at the tip so it is a forms a, a conical shape so that's why it is a conical form 
So example for this one it is a Dacus carota a carrot, right? So it's about a storage roots. Storage roots helps in to store the food material. So as a result of that, it becomes swollen. So next one it is a nodular roots. So what about nodular roots? So what is the function of a nodular roots? So in nodular roots, it is helps in a nitrogen fixation. So it is the second function of a root, right? So it is helps in water nitrogen fixation. So how that nitrogen fixation it is takes place? So with the help of a rhizobium bacteria. So see, so it is a a plant. So in this root it is having a some small nodules like structures is present, right? So these are the root nodules. It is helps in a nitrogen fixation. So it will show us which type of relationship. Symbiotic relationship with the rhizobium bacteria. So, what about symbiotic relationship? Symbiotic relationship means uh, helpful for each other. So, here the rhizobium bacteria. Rhizobium bacteria it will provides nitrogen. to the plant so as a result of that it will provide a nitrogen to the plant so here the rhizobium bacteria it will take a food shelter from the a plant so the type of relationship is called as a, a symbiotic relationship so how the nitrogen fixation it is a takes place so we will discuss in brief. So it is a leguminous plant a root. So in this primary root it is a secondary root, right? Generally this root it is present inside the soil. It is present inside the soil and some of the rhizobium bacteria also present in the soil. So later this rhizobium bacteria later this rhizobium bacteria it infects the root hair right so later it it is entered into the inside the root hair so later it forms a one thread like structure so that's about a infection thread later this infection thread it goes up to the cortical cells so here the stimulation of a cortex cells in a uncontrolled manner so as a result of that in the formation of root nodule is takes place. Right? So here the rhizobium bacteria it is having a special enzyme. So that enzyme is nitrogenase. What is that enzyme? So that is a nitrogenase enzyme right so for the function of this nitrogenase enzyme so it is requiring anaerobic conditions absence of oxygen conditions so that is required by nitrogenase so here the nitrogenase it is helps in the nitrogen fixation so it is required this type of conditions anaerobic conditions So when this rhizobium bacteria it is present inside the this root, so for the functioning of this nitrogenase enzyme, it's requiring an aerobic condition. So that an aerobic conditions it will be created inside the leguminous plants by a special pigment. So that is in pink color pigment. So that is like hemoglobin.
so here the like hemoglobin like hemoglobin it's acts like a oxygen scavenger so whatever the o2 it is present inside this root so that will be completely consumed by this like hemoglobin so later it will creates an aerobic conditions for the functioning of a nitrogenase enzyme so let us easily this nitrogenase enzyme it fix its a uh, nitrogen to the apply so so it is a mechanism so in this manner so the nitrogen it will be provided to the a uh, plant so later it will take a uh, food and shelter from the a uh, plant so the type of relationship is called as what a symbiotic uh, relationship so it's about a uh, nodular roots generally those nodular roots it is present in majority of the uh, leguminous plants dalicas glycine max soya bean so these are the species it will show us it is containing in their roots uh, nodules so i hope it is helpful for you guys so if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos thank you